scorching heat is gripping parts of the United States, with officials blaming it for at least 13 deaths in Texas, calling it unprecedented. A hospital in Houston saying they have a 30% increase in heat-related cases from the same time last year. It's really, really hot. So tomorrow we're actually leaving the country, we're going to Canada. So we get a break from the weather. The National Weather Service stating that extreme heat events will become more frequent and intense in the coming decades due to climate change. The temperature is even prompting the U.S. Postal Service to allow earlier starting times for letter carriers after a letter carrier died last week from triple digit heat. I don't know, it just seems like it's getting hotter and hotter. This as wildfire smoke continues to blanket the U.S. with Canada's worst ever wildfire season continuing to burn. The smoke now moving from the Midwest to the Northeast, delaying the Pirates Padres game in Pittsburgh today. Experts warn even healthy people may experience airway inflammation, sore throat, and eye irritation. Staying indoors is key. Um, it definitely reduces your exposure. You keep windows closed. Try to have a air purifier that you can run in a, a safe room that will allow you to also circulate the air in, in a cleaner fashion. Experts say an N95 mask helps with exposure to poor air quality. As for the extreme heat, officials advise residents to stay indoors if possible. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, New York.